My first set experience, I recall being entirely overwhelmed, being a newbie with a completely vague knowledge on set lingual. Good morning. Time to go make a movie. And camera. And sound. Close that. Don't you know what a red light means? Scene 17, take two. Mark. Action. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amanda. Let's break down some of the most common phrases and expressions used on set production. This term serves as a shorthand for conveying instructions and coordinating the complex process of filmmaking. Number one, we have our call sheet. A call sheet is a document used in film and television production that provides essential detail for a specific day's shoot. It includes information such as the shooting schedule, location, cast and crew contact details, call time, scenes to be filmed, and other critical instructions and information. The call sheet serves as a communication tool ensuring that everyone involved in the production is aware of the logistics and schedule for the day's filming. It is typically distributed to cast and crew a day before or on the morning of the shoot. Note, always try to double check and read through the information to ensure errors were not made in terms of your name, role, or even that of your crew members. These guys and fucks, they are ruining my please. movie. I will be on camera in five minutes. No, no, please, please, Jack's arriving. <laughs> Call time. A call time on production sets refers to the scheduled time at which cast and crew are expected to begin work for the day. It marks the start of the production day and it's crucial that all necessary preparations are made before filming begins. The call time is typically communicated in advance to facilitate smooth coordination and organization on the set and sometimes movement to set. It encompasses activities such as makeup, wardrobe, equipment setup, and preparing for the first shot. Punctuality is essential to maintain the production schedule and meet filming deadlines. Pre-call. Pre-call time on production sets refers to the scheduled time that crew members, including cast and key personnel, are required to arrive before the official start of filming or other production activities. This occurs mostly for the arts and lighting department. Pre-calls allow for necessary preparations such as equipment setup, rehearsals, and briefing, ensuring a smooth and efficient start to the day's work. Pre-call time varies based on the complexity of the production and the tax that needs to be completed before the actual shooting begins. The purpose is to ensure that everyone on set is aware of guideline, emergency procedures, and specific precautions related to the production. Topics covered may include the proper use of equipment, handling stunt, welfare schedules, fire safety, evacuation plan, and any other relevant safety concerns. The aim is to create a safe working environment, preventing accidents and promote the well-being of the cast and crew throughout the production process. Beautiful, bellissimo, bellissimo. Next time, try soft, okay? Move that microphone 45 degrees, okay? No, 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 no. Hey, amigo, it's not Manuel, it's man. Mandatory. Not Manuel, okay? Audition. Audition, which is a process of coupling equipment, takes time and loads of everyone in each department being on top of their game, timing themselves to make sure everything is in order, ready to go for the shooting time. Auditioning involves testing and ensuring that all the necessary tools and equipment and gears are in optimal condition and ready for use before the shoot begins. It's a process of verifying that cameras, light equipment, audio devices, and essential tools are functioning correctly, well-maintained, and properly set up. This ensures a smooth and efficient production process, minimizing the risk of technical issues during the actual shoot and contributing to the overall success of the filmmaking endeavors. The action. Action. Action is a critical cue that prompts the cast to engage in the dialogue movement or actions outlined in the script, capturing the desired performance on camera. The director uses this term to synchronize the efforts of the entire production team, signaling the commencement of the planned sequence. 
It is a moment when the creative vision transforms into a tangible performance that will be captured and later edited to form part of the final film. Cut. Cut is typically called out after the director is satisfied with the performance or if there is a need to make adjustments before moving on to the next shot. It allows for a clear separation between different takes and scene during filming. Once cut is announced, the crew can prepare for the next setup, actors can relax, and necessary adjustments can be made before rolling the camera again. We are losing the light! We roll now! We roll! Roll, 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 roll! Rolling? When the camera is set in position, the actors are ready and all other technical aspects are in place. Once the director is satisfied with that and everything is prepared, they call out rolling to initiate the recording. Yes! You see the butterfly? <laughs> Yeah, was it okay? It was incredible. I just, uh, how do you do it? Print. Do you it typically know? refers to the director or cinematography expressing satisfaction with a particular take and they are signaling that the take should be considered for the final edit or printed in post production. This term acts back to the time when film was primary medium for recording and a print literally meant creating a positive copy. Of the recorded footage in modern digital filmmaking the term is still commonly used even though there is no physical film to print <laughs> it serves as a confirmation that the shot was successful and meets the desired standard after the director or cinematographer says print the production team will continue with the next setup or scene knowing that the marked take is strong candidate for inclusion in the final edit of the film you just let us get through one take. Why would I do that if you won't be yeah, able to you use it? You told me to do it quiet. That's why I did quiet, it quiet. Quiet, not inarticulate. You can't mumble. Is that bullshit? Are we going again or what? Yes, of I course can't we're going it. again. And camera and sound. Well, hello, Colin. Motherfucker! Quiet on set. When someone says quiet on set, it's, it's a command aimed at ensuring silent and focused environment for the ongoing production. This directive is typically given by the AD or another person in authority to maintain conducive atmosphere for filming. The purpose is to minimize background noise and distractions, allowing the cast and crew to concentrate on the scene being filmed. Achieving a quiet set is crucial for capturing clean audio recording, ensuring the highest production quality. Standby is a command or cue used to instruct crew members to prepare to be ready for a specific action. The meaning can vary depending on the context and department involved. The signal that everyone should be on alert and ready to execute their respective tasks. Few common scenarios would be when the director or AD says, stand by to the camera team. It typically always means that they should be ready to roll for the upcoming shot. For, and for the lighting team, standby code means preparing for lighting setup for the next shot, turning on lights, adjusting their positions, and ensuring that the lighting plan is ready to go. Moving on to checking the gates, it refers to inspecting the camera lens and film gate which is the area where the film passes through during exposure. This inspection is critical to ensure that there is no debris, dirt, or other obstructions present that could potentially ruin any recorded footage. Mark. Action. Marking. It typically refers to the actions or marking identifying a specific point or position for a particular purpose. This term is commonly used for the context of camera and actors positioning during a shoot. Before a scene is filmed, actors are often instructed to stand or move to specific positions. It's also the act of placing markers in front of the camera to indicate the starting or ending point of a scene. It is often done using a clapper board or tape. Cut, Mr. Mark now. Oh. It's Moving on to one more for safety. It typically means the director or the person in charge wants to capture an, an additional take 
of the current shot as a precautionary measure. This extra take is taken to ensure that there is ample material during the editing process and to account for any unforeseen issues. Technical glitches or variation in performance that may, be, that may have occurred in the previous takes without perfection. The decision to do one more take for safety might stem from concerns about the quality of the footage, the need for more options in post-production, or a desire to address an uncertain move or for the next scene. It is a common practice in filmmaking to prioritize having more footage than needed, rather than risking not having enough coverage during the editing phase. Pick up. In cinematography, Pickup refers to filming a small portion of a scene or shot again, often due to minor issues such as technical errors, continuity discrepancies, or performance nuances that need adjustment. Pickups are commonly conducted after the primary filming of a scene is complete completed. They allow filmmakers to address any imperfection or inconsistency that may have arisen during the initial shots ensuring that the final footage maintains continuity and meets the desired standards of quality. Okay, I want to ask you, do you think you could hold two beats for the tears gushing? So eyes water for two, and on the third beat, I'm going to do a light effect. That's when you gush. What if you do? Gush on three. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Ruth, any notes on my entrance? You're fine. Blocking. Blocking refers to the process of planning and rehearsing the movement positions of camera placement, sets, props, position, and actions of actors within a specific scene, determining the actors where they will stand or move and their interactions with the entire environment. Blocking is a collaborative process involving the directors, actors, and sometimes the DOP. It is typically done during the rehearsals before actual filming begins to achieve perfection. The goal is to establish a clip plan for the physical and visual elements of the scene allowing for a more efficient and effective shoot when the camera starts rolling crossing it is a verbal cue or warning used to indicate that someone is moving or crossing in front of the camera or within the camera line of sight the aim is to alert the crew especially the camera operator and those involved in the shot to be aware of the person's movement this helps prevent any accidental collision or disruption during the filming process. Reset. When the term reset is called on set, it signifies that the crew and performers need to return to their initial position and condition for the upcoming take. This instruction is typically given after a particular shot or scene has been completed and the director or assistant director wants to prepare for another attempt or a different angle. The research command ensures that everyone returns to the starting point, maintaining consistency for the next take. It includes resetting props, actors, lighting, camera positions, and any other elements that may have been adjusted during the previous take. Hot set. The declaration of a hot set is a way to communicate to the cast and crew that the current scene is actively being filmed and that any modification to the set, props, or lightning should be avoided to maintain the visual and narrative integrity of the shot. It helps create a controlled environment to ensure that the footage remains consistent throughout the entire filming process of a particular scene or sequence. Martini shots. On a film set, the term martini shot refers to the final shot of the day. It is the last setup or scene that the film crew intends to shoot during, during the entire particular day of filming. The martini shot is named after the alcoholic beverage martini, suggesting that once the shot is completed, the crew can relax and potentially enjoy a celebratory drink. It signals the conclusion of the day's planned shooting schedule and is often seen as a milestone, especially on long and demanding shoots. The martini shot is typically chosen strategically considering factors such as remaining daylight, actors' availability, and overall progress of the production. Green screen. When green screen is mentioned on a film set, it refers to the use of green colored backdrop or screen during filming. This green screen is a key component of a technique known as chroma keying or green screen compositing. In this process, the green color is digitally removed during post-production and replaced with computer-generated imagery, CGI, or other footages of virtual environment. The primary purpose is to create visual effects or composite scenes that would be challenging or impractical to film directly. Practical. 
Practical generally refers to elements or objects that are fully functional or usable within the narrative of the scene. Practical elements are tangible and can serve as a real purpose on site, contributing to the authenticity and realism of the filmmaking process. This term is often used to describe the items that are just props but can actually be used or interacted with by the actors. For example, a lamp in a scene is a real working lamp that the actor can turn on or off. Practical effects can also refer to physical effects created on sets such as explosions or rain. The use of practical elements enhances the, the immersive quality of a film, making the environment more believable for both the actor and the audience. Dailies. Dailies refers to the footage that was shot during a particular day's filming. Dailies are essentially the raw, unedited and unprocessed footage from the day's shoot. The process typically involves transferring the footage from the camera's memory card or from real to a digital monitor that can be easily viewed by the director or producer and other key crew members. Daily serves as, a, as an initial look at the material captured on set, allowing the filmmaking team to assess the quality of the shots, performance, and overall production. ETA. This typically stands for estimated time of arrival. This term is commonly used to communicate the expected or anticipated time when a person or equipment or an essential element of the production such as props or wardrobe will arrive on set. It helps the crew and production team coordinate the plan and also their activities, ensuring that everyone is ready for the next phase of filming or any scheduled event. Location Scout. This is a process of finding and selecting suitable filming location for a movie or TV production. The goal of a location scout is to contribute to the visual storytelling of the film by finding settings that enhance the narrative and creates the desired atmosphere. Rap is a signal at the end of the day of shooting. It implies that all planned scenes or shots for that specific day has been successfully captured and a production team can proceed to dismantle the set, slow equipment and conclude their work on set. And it makes all of us happy. So that will be all for today's content on filmmaking in three cases. So please subscribe, click the bell and share. As a creative member, please remember to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And until our next episode, look out and listen for each of these filmmaking terminologies while you're on set. And I'll see you soon. Bye.